everyone hope we are all well thank you for coming and tuning in to another one of my youtube videos massively appreciate it again i am trying to uh keep up with the uh the youtube you know <laughs> so hard fitting it all in honestly like this whole tiktok thing and instagram and facebook and youtube i literally feel like i'm drowned in, in socials um but i've not uploaded anything in a couple of days so get ready for some spam <laughs> so i've actually done a valentine's day set like why well, i never get to do a valentine's day set so i'm absolutely buzzing about this when she watched the nasty hour a little bit like uh shit okay uh no because i never do them i was just like well panicked um but i just literally got some stuff out and just went with it and i actually love how they turned out so you can see it's a redesign um obviously she's come in I have uh, whizzed off her previous set and then obviously done her prep and then we're going in with this absolutely stunning holographic uh, glare. This is just bog standard holographic red glare. Super cute one. This was one of mine from way back when. You probably can get this at most glare suppliers though and we've probably all, all got one in our kit. To be honest it's just that red glare that always comes out at Christmas. You know the one. So then we're going to go on to the ring finger. This one was a glitter ombre. So the colour pink I'm using this time is a glitter bells one. Uh, this is my go-to shimmer colour pink. I absolutely adore it. So a lot of um, shimmer colour pinks have quite chunky pieces in. Um, and although I do like that sometimes, I do prefer one with just a little bit of shimmer in. And this is perfect. So I think this is the peach bell cover shimmer. That's my favourite shimmer one that they do. Um, it is a really, really nice colour anyway. And then obviously once you add that shimmer to it, it's just beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. Because sometimes you just need that little bit of shimmer, I think, don't you? And I think it goes well perfectly with these. And I'm thinking about it as well. I am running dangerously low on that. So I do need to pop over to Glitter Bells and order one of those. I'm going to write that in my notes actually on my phone because I will forget. <laughs> I'm going to put that on my to-do list. So I'm just popping on some more of that same red glitter that I used on the pinky finger. Um, just obviously blending it up, creating that nice ombre. Then onto the middle finger. So I'm going to do a full colour pink on this one. It's the same colour pink as the last nail. So it's Glitter Bells Peach Bell Cover Shimmer. I always feel like I'm going to say that wrong. <laughs> I feel like it's the mouthful. It's really nice to work with actually as well. It was a little bit sticky but that was the temperature. That was nothing to do with either product that I'm using. It's literally just a temperature thing. So I'm just trying to walk that down and pat and pull it as much as I can. get that shape in there and then obviously I've not got as much to do with my file there is some of them stupid pesky bits of glitter in there but because they're only on the surface layer of that nail I'm not worried we can just file that off it's really not a big deal so then the index finger so I'm using the same cover pink again I do love this um, cover pink for a nail bed it's really unusual it just adds it a little bit of you know like satin satin <laughs> i do love it and i've just um when i was editing this video my little girl was sat next to me my 10 year old and she's she's not a girly girl she's not into nails anything like that and uh, when i was editing it and obviously i was watching this bit of the clip she was like what are you doing I'm like i'm doing the nails she was like why is it like that and i was like because because it is that's the process of it and she went why is it blue like, that's her old saying she's like why are you not covering the nail i don't like it that's gonna break the end of it i was like oh my god <laughs> if only you knew gracie if only you knew bless her the innocence of kids eh but this is a nail bed gracie <laughs> so i'm just sweeping my brush in making sure again it's nice and neat less filing then little bits of glitter i'm not worried about We'll just file them off. You can see they're still there. So I'm just going to put a super wet layer of acrylic down. And I'm going to add some of these little love hearts. 
little silver holographic ones. Now these love hearts, um, I actually stole from my friend Natalie. She had, um, she's bringing out her own uh, products, and this was one of the glitters she had. I think it was a sample bag of glitter actually, um, and it was like loads of hearts and stuff mixed together. So I pinched some of the hearts out of there. So I'm sure it's called it's Crown, but I think I think it's Crown Hair and Beauty Supplies. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I feel like a right bitch if I'm wrong, <laughs> but I'm sure it's Crown Hair and Beauty Supplies. So then we're gonna refine this smile line now. Just using nice fresh file, right up against my acrylic. So always pushing against the acrylic, not pushing down on the nail. I always speed this bit up because again you've seen me do it a million times you don't need to see it again and a lot of people keep asking me um where my wrist rest is from so my wrist rest is gb wrist rests um absolutely amazing like i can't fault them it is the best thing i have ever bought for nails and i'm not just saying that it saves my back and shoulders so much it's really really good um, and they're all custom you can literally have whatever height um, whatever legs, colour legs, um, you can have different material tops, colours, everything. She even does embroidery now, like, she's the bomb. So I will link that um, down in, obviously, the description box as well. Because I keep forgetting to pop that on, but I will do that. I will do that. So I'm just using a fine holographic red um, for the tip of this nail. So it is the same, exactly the same colour as the little finger. But obviously it's just a fine rather than a multi. And then everyone's favourite bit, top coat. So I'm using Pro Impressions Superior Shine Top Coat as always. Um, my code is Sony10 if you want to go and save yourself some money on that. Absolutely adore this. And I did pop this video on Instagram. Um, I quickened it up a little bit and popped it on a meta reel. Um, and for anyone who likes it, like, thank you. It went a bit crazy over there. So <laughs> thanks for the love, guys. <laughs> I love that there's something about a red French I do love a red French and this was the thumbnail which I forgot to record so it was just the red uh, multi mix glitter and then I popped on some more hearts and then here's the finished set thank you so so much for watching again guys and I will see you in the next one